All right. Live on Facebook. Now we do Instagram. Always something to do. White Ninja, you having butter and uh, syrup on those pancakes? All right, please check in with your nickname and uh, and where you're at. I'm just warming up my arm here. Dinger in the house. You can see my batter there is George the monkey. And my strike zone is a tennis ball on top of a batting tee. Oh yes, hello Elijah the drummer, welcome in. You guys go tell your friends about this class. It's going to be an epic, epic PE class. Joseph Pugh is in the house. Judge Jr., tell all your friends in humid Florida to tune in today. Ooh, I almost hit the batter there. Little chin music. He's crowding the plate. Mac is in the house. Good morning. Tay Tay in North Carolina is in the house. Welcome, folks. Check in. Hmm. This is what I do when I'm not doing this show. When I'm not doing this show, I'm just throwing balls up against the wall in the backyard. Today is Jackie Robinson Day. He is a real-life legend indeed. Scholar salute for you, Mr. Elijah. Jackie Robinson Day. And why is it Jackie Robinson Day, Elijah the drummer? Why today instead of any other day? Ooh, very close, very close. Almost got that ball to fall off that tee. Billy in the house. At a boy, Billy. Who else is rolling in? It's PE time. I'm giving away prizes today, by the way. I'm going to let everybody roll in a little bit late but I'm giving away prizes. Uh, today, it's happening. Made his debut, Elijah the Drummer, that's right. And then, a week later, Larry Doby uh, broke the color barrier in the American League. Bike rider checking in, waffles and yogurt for breakfast. boy, bike rider. If you tuned in to my virtual sandlot yesterday, we worked on pitching. That we were working on this drill right here, where I was throwing a tennis ball at a target. Um, during the quarantine, we got to find ways. We got to be creative. How can we make ourselves better? Uh, this is a great, great way to do it. As far as prizes go, there's going to be baseball cards. There's going to be hats. We've got some swag available. Okay. And here's the deal. It's going to start right here and right now. Whoever can invite the most people to come and join our PE class and they check in in the chat room, you're going to win prizes. Simple as that. So we'll go ahead and start it right now. You invite, text, call, and you get some cards. I'll either bring them to your house or I'll mail them from the mail room. Um, but start, start your invitations. We're going to take these first 10 minutes and we're just going to do this contest. All right, I've also got this hat. We'll be dishing out hats, some coach ball game swag. All right, but the way it works is you invite the friends, they show up, they say who invited them, and I keep score. It's a contest. Who can invite the most people to tune in? Pretty simple, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just going to throw this ball uh, right there for a couple of minutes while you're doing that. Now, go ahead and, and kind of inform me, how are you doing this? Are you doing an Instagram post, a Facebook post? Are you texting friends, calling friends, emailing? How are you informing your friends about this class right now? We'll go three minutes of inviting. Beep, starts now. What's better, Rawlings or Wilson for gloves? I like them all. I like Easton too. Uh, I'm not a huge, um, uh, I'm not a huge 
or what type of uh, uh, thing am I using? I, I, I was always using hand-me-downs, hand-me-down gloves, hand-me-down bats, sticks, uh, uh, you know, paper bags for gloves. So that's not really my area. Uh, but I will say that I love milk. I do think milk is my favorite drink. In case you're just joining us, we are doing a contest right now, the next three minutes. Who can invite the most people to join our class right now? And I'm, uh, let's see, Mac is doing Instagram, he's texting, he's doing Twitter and Facebook. Scholar salute for you, Mac. You're bringing in some crew. Very good. Baseball, baseball, baseball. White Ninja. Passed mom the computer to share an invite. And uh, friends have been invited, uh, sending some messages as well. Way to go, White Ninja. Anybody else? I do see the numbers climbing. That means some people are tuning in. Now, the folks that you invited, they've got to, and, and this will happen at the very end, uh, they've got to say who invited them. And then we'll do a little, little scorekeeping. And tomorrow's Trivia Thursday. We've got our trivia contest every Thursday. Ooh, just a little bit high. Just a little high. Yesterday at our virtual sandlot, we talked about good balance. We talked about generating good power in our back leg. And then we talked about a good release point and a good follow through. The ball is a very good what? There's a good trivia question as you're inviting friends. The Firestones just invited five people. I hope they show up, Firestone fam. The ball, when you're throwing it, the ball is a very good what? Who was, who was at my sandlot yesterday and can type the answer to that? The ball is a very good Very good what? It's a very good listener. Firestones just beat Dinger on that one. Scholar salute for both of you. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're doing a contest right now. Uh, whoever can invite the most people to come to this class today and they show up, I'm going to mail you some baseball cards. I'm going to mail you some swag. But at the end of our class, we will have a contest. And the people you invited They've got to say who invited them, right? And uh, I've, I've seen White Ninja inviting people all over. Judge Jr. doing a Facebook post and a watch party. Bike Rider has reminded Winston Churchill to log on. There you go. Uh, and invited some friends in Scotland. I black salute. Very good. Mac just invited 227 people. So let's see if anybody shows up for that. Very good. Facebook users can start a watch party. So there you go. That might help out a lot. But um, keep inviting because at 940, I'm going to have a little uh, contest. And I'm going to ask whoever's here, who invited you, right? Who invited you today through Facebook, Instagram, email, text, whatever, uh, and caused you to show up? All right, kiddos. Three claps. One, two, three. Start marching. I've got my hype socks on today. Hype socks. If you like crazy wild high socks, then go to hype socks. They're pretty cool. And we're marching. Now spin. And spin. Very good. That's it. That's it. Keep marching. A little faster. Get the knees up nice and high. I hope your shirt's tucked in. My buddies at Bombat, they have a bat that doesn't break. It's a wood bat, but it doesn't break. Pretty unbelievable. If you're just joining us, there's a contest. Who can invite the most people to Wednesday's class? Whoever gets the most people to come, boom. You get some swag and some baseball cards. And these are epic baseball cards, by the way. Arms high. Sniff your armpits. Mmm. Mine smells like ivory spring soap. And a little bit of macaroni and cheese. Touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. That's it. That's it. Spread out wide. Smell your left kneecap. Let me know what it smells like. Oh, 
yes. My left kneecap smells like Wednesday. Switch. What does your right kneecap smell like? Mine smells like a j I say P-U. And then what do you say, kids? P-U. And you guys say, that ball smells foul. That's right. I'm going to have a t-shirt made. It says P-U on the front. That ball smells foul on the back. Picking strawberries. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 Boom. On your bee honkus. Butterflies. Numbers are staying about the same. Come on now. Bee honkus. Butterflies. Keep inviting. And if you're just joining us, whoever invites the most people and they show up, boom, you're going to get some swag, some prizes. I got to think this is the best Zoom class going during the quarantine. I think so anyway. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. Judge Jr. has done a Facebook watch party. Mac on Instagram has invited 227 people. Bike Rider has invited his friends in Scotland. Switch! Other phalange. And both phalanges. I know some kids have Zoom school right now or Zoom classes. Oh, man. I'm competing against other Zoom classes. That's fine. You got to do school. But there are some kids, they're just sitting on the couch playing a video game. Those are the kids we're inviting. Modeling pose. Left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. Oh, yes. If your back pops, what do you say? Oh, my Lanta. Oh, I'm seeing some people join on Instagram. Somebody's invitation is working. Hug that knee into the chest and tell it you love it. I love you, knee. Oh, the numbers are rising on YouTube. It's working, folks. And switch. Twist and look behind you. Remember, at 940, I'll be posing the question, who invited you? And whoever's name comes up the most, you get some prizes, folks. Hug that knee into the chest. I hope your shirt's tucked in. Hope there's a smile on your face. The theme of our week is what? Spread what? Spread joy. How do we spread joy? You put a smile on your face. Look at somebody in the room and say, at a boy. If they're a girl, look at them and say, at a girl. That's an easy way to spread joy. When everybody else is saying mean things, what's a ball player say? Awesome things, respectful things, kind things. Downward facing dog. Roof, roof, roof. Cobra. Upward facing dog. Roof, roof, roof. Donkey kicks. Here. Here. Five each leg. Here. Switch. Oh, every time I make a donkey sound, the neighbor's dog barks. That's interesting. Very good. Half moon. Half moon. Little yoga on your Wednesday. If you're in California, it's a beautiful day. Our friends in Florida say it's kind of humid over there. How's the weather? Wherever you may be. Switch! And up to your feet. Hustle salute. Some of you may be thinking, how is he able to just keep on talking like this? Well, my brain is connected to my mouth and... They are constantly exchanging information. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Fast as you can. Spin in a circle. Fast forward on the floss dance. Fast as you can floss. Faster. 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 Fast forward on the orange justice. I'm not really sure how. The orange justice and freeze deep breath in through the nose slowly out the mouth three claps one two three arm circles start small get bigger make sure your shirt's tucked in and go backwards 
All right, we've now got eight on Facebook, 18 on YouTube, five on Instagram. Hug, hug, hug. We need more people. Come on, people. Come on, invitations. Move that neck around. Go. I used to be afraid of inviting people to my camps. Now, I don't even care if I bother people. Come, come to my camp. You should do it. It's great. The kids will love it. They'll become better people. And you, as a parent, get to enjoy your coffee in peace. Switch. More people joining on Instagram. I think it's working, Mac. And to the kicks. Touch. Alternate. Touch. Alternate. Touch. Alternate. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very good. Twist the trunk. And jumping jacks. Ten of them all together. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two minute jog. On your marks. Get set. Go. Run. Run, run, run. You're running for two minutes straight. You're running. Grandma Squeaky in the house. Atta girl. The Firestones invited their entire class on Google Classroom. Scholar salute. I black salute. If everybody did that, whew, we might have some serious numbers here. Keep running. 40 seconds down. 80 to go. Run, run, run. Up your stairs. Run in place. Run around your yard. Whatever. Thank you, my friend. It's an online PE class. Let's give our gardener an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. Keep running. 45 seconds remaining. Michael Cole is in the house. Slept in a little bit because he didn't go to bed until 4 a.m. Keep running. Keep running while I play some music. seconds five seconds three two one and stop very good very good very good so we will not know who's winning until 9 40 when i pose the question and i pull out a piece of paper keep inviting those people at 9 40 i will ask those people who invited you whoever uh invited the most and they showed up mustache salute you get some swag. You get this. Get a water break, by the way, kids. You get baseball cards, and these are epic baseball cards. Epic. All in the name of spreading joy. Chug that water, folks. Chugging contest. It starts now. Go, 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 go. Very good. Keep drinking. Keep spreading joy. Now, as you're getting that water break, I want to explain what we learned yesterday at the virtual sandlot. If you weren't there yesterday, show up today. We're going to be working on defense, fielding the ground ball. Uh, we're also going to be working on catching fly balls. But this is what I've been doing to work on my pitching. I get in the backyard. I've got my stuffed animal, George. He's the batter. He's kind of crowding the plate a little bit. And then the strike zone is just a batting tee with a ball on top. And I'm working on trying to hit that target. Ooh, very good. If I want to move the target, I move the T around. Inside, outside, up, down, trying to hit all nine quadrants of the strike zone. Now, yesterday, we talked about good balance, staying tall over the pitcher's rubber. Now, are we going to land our front foot quickly? No. 
We want to have power in our back leg. So we get to this position, bend in wings, bend our back knee, make our wings. There's power in that back leg. That's going to keep your arm healthy. Then we can fire from that place with a great release point and a balanced follow through. That's what we learned yesterday. Show up today, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 Eastern, uh, to work on defense, ground balls. Keep inviting those folks. If you just joined us, there's a contest. The most people, uh, that, that, that the person that invites the most people gets some prizes. All right? Circuit training. Four bases, please. I got home plate. I got first base. I got second base. I got third base. Gotcha. And trash can in the middle. Trash can in the middle. And get yourself either a ball or a balled up sock or a balled up piece of paper. I'm going to go balled up sock. Home plate, everybody. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoot it in the basket. Yes. Third base. Ten more push ups. You can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Shoot the ball in the basket. Yes. Once you get to home, ten jumping jacks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should be good and tired. So go. 30 second water break. <sighs> Billy Bryce just said to his dog, Attaboy. Mustache salute for you. The Lishkas are in the house. Attaboy D. Lish. Water break. I always like to do trivia questions during water breaks. My trivia question for you. Why does Mike Trout tuck his shirt in when he's playing a baseball game? Whoever answers it the first gets a shout out. Drink that water. Drink that water. Hello, Jake. Hello, Andrea. Jake's been tuning into all my trivia sessions on my Instagram Live. He's been winning some prizes. Because everyone does, Billy Bryce. Good. I could go even further. It makes him do better, says Dinger. Water slide says it makes him run faster. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's the, the most important one. It makes you run faster when your shirt's tucked in. I tuck my shirt in when I go get the mail so I can get the mail faster. When I go to Walmart, tuck it in, I shop faster. Back to home plate. <sighs> All right, we're going to do the exact same thing. You know what to do. See if you can beat me. Do it faster than me, but no cheating. 10, 10, 10, and 10, and make the basket in the middle. On your marks. Get set. Go. Go. 10 push-ups. And shoot the basket. Bang. Second base, 10 push-ups. Let's go, Michael Cole. Let's go, Water Slide. Let's go, Soto. Let's go, Penguin. Let's go, Pickle. Let's go, Billy Bryce. Let's go, Mac. And 10. Let's go, Speedy. Nice. Let's go, Elijah. 10 push-ups. Let's go, Judge Jr. Let's go, Bike Rider. All right. Let's go, Mom and Dad. That's it. And 10 jumping jacks. Get a water break. Firestones, Dinger. Anybody beat me? Billy Bryce said he beat me. I don't know about that. Anybody beat me? Penguin and Pickle said they beat me. Good job, boys. Grant Household is in the house. Sportsmanship salute. Knott's Berry Farm said he beat me. Love it. 
Love the competition. Ari Firestone said he beat me. Mustache salute. <clears throat> Next trivia question. <clears throat> this is an actual baseball from the 1986 World Series. Pretty cool. Major League Baseball sent me a box of baseball. Water slide beat me, by the way. Who won the 1986 World Series? First one to answer correctly gets a shout out. M9 baseball in the house. Mustache salute. Bicep salute. Bounce back salute. Scholar salute. The Mets is correct. Judge Jr., you get this, uh, you get this eye black salute and this staring contest, Judge Jr. The Mets beat who? Who did the Mets beat? Pretty cool. It's a very famous World Series. You had guys like Mookie Wilson, Lenny Dykstra, Bill Buckner. They didn't beat the Dodgers. They beat the Red Sox. Judge Jr. gets another scholar salute. Mets beat the Red Sox. If you love baseball trivia, I'm doing it every Monday and Thursday. Mondays and Thursdays on Instagram Live. It's super fun. Um, and we're also going to do a trivia contest here in our class tomorrow. Back to home plate. Let's go. Man, it feels good on a Wednesday. All right, same thing. 10 push-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 jumping jacks. Can you beat Coach Ballgate? I'm going a little faster this time. On your marks, get set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And good. Shoot. Ooh. Made the basket. That saved me some time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third base. Come on, everybody. Come on, Knott's Berry Farm. Come on, Firestones. Come on, Water Slide. Woo! Ten jumping jacks. Two, faster, three. Done. Be honest, did anybody beat me? Get a water break. Dinger says he beats me. Puppy Pro says, well done. Do those push-ups, Puppy Pro. boy, Fireball. Firestone said he beat me. M9 Baseball said he beat me. Who else is in the house? Is Joe Buck in the house? Joe Buck says he beat me. Who else is in the house? Alex Bregman? Mustache salute Bregman. He says he beat me. Judge Jr. said he's out of gas. Get some water. Water break. So, I just spoke about uh, a friend of mine. His name's Alex Bregman. If you go to my YouTube, you'll see a video me and him did. Now, what did he do wrong last year? Well, he was on a team uh, in 2017 that cheated. And here's what I'll say about that. Cheating's wrong. Shouldn't have done it. Uh, they need to make sure they apologize to everybody about it because it's not cool. Pitchers that are uh, trying to make it to the next level or trying to win, they don't want the other team stealing their signs. But go check out Alex Bregman's Instagram because he's making up for it. He apologized. He's asked for forgiveness, and now he's paying it forward, and he's giving back. He's raising a ton of money for the Houston Food Bank. So uh, I'd like to shake his hand and say, hey, apology accepted. Go do your thing, my brother. So here's what I, here's what, um, here's what I take from all of that. He messed up. The Houston Astros messed up. The Dodgers should be upset. The Yankees should be upset. But we're all human. We all make mistakes. If you fess up to it when you make a mistake, right, instead of just hiding it, fess up and then just be a good person afterwards, I'll accept the apology. I'll accept it. But I'd like to have a discussion about this um, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about that Houston sign stealing and, uh, and see what you guys think. Because uh, a lot of people are upset, especially Dodger fans.
Awesome job right there. Get your notebooks and let's do our seven. Super Henry beat me, by the way. White Ninja tied with me. I love it. Water Slide beat me again. Get your notebooks and we're going to do the seven. Now, if you were one of those people that were invited by a friend and you don't know what the seven is, just get a sock or a tennis ball. If you're a baseball player and you've got a glove, use it, okay? I call this the old school drill. Just throw the ball into the glove, just like that. Old school drill, okay? Now we're going high five the sky. That is drill number one. Uh, you can use a glove and a tennis ball, or you can just use a balled up piece of paper or a sock. But in 60 seconds, you're seeing how many balls you can catch above your head. Like it's a fly ball, and you're going to catch it here. You can't catch it down here like a cup of soup. Slurp, slurp, slurp. On your marks, get set. High five this guy. Meet it. Squeeze it. Freeze it. High five this guy. How many can you do? I asked you yesterday to graph your data. Just give me an attaboy while you're doing this drill if you graphed your data yesterday. Line graph, bar graph. Let's be honest, we've got a lot of time on our hands. And when you've got a lot of time on your hands, do bar graphs or line graphs. High five the sky. No cups of soup. 15 seconds remaining. White Ninja got his notebook and his graph in progress. Double bicep salute. So does Josh Rich. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Very nice. So write your number down. And now I want to take a poll. Who has been graphing their data, their numbers? Raise your hand. I see you, Firestones. I see you, Water Slide. I see you, White Ninja. I see you, Speedy. I see you, Judge Junior. I see you. On your marks, get set, go. Fold against the wall, catch it correctly. How many in 60 seconds? This is all about your feet. This is what we're going to learn today at the Sandlot at 3 o'clock Pacific. Fielding and defense, it's all footwork. It's all with your feet. The hard part is done with your feet. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. You want to catch every ball like this. Elbow in, fingers to the sky. Open wide, squeeze tight like a shark. Ruff. Like a dog protecting the house. So to get to get in that position, it's all about footwork. Use both feet. If it's over here, step here. If it's over here, step here. Definitely helps if your shirt's tucked in. 15 seconds. Doing trivia with uh, War Stick tomorrow night. 7.30 Pacific. That's Ian Kinsler. Five seconds. Three Two, stop, write that number down. And if you want to be like White Ninja, start graphing that data right now. Start graphing. For those of us that love math, when you hear the words graph data, oh boy, it gets a little exciting. I get a little excited when I hear those words, graph data. What's our third drill? What's our third drill? That's right, alligators, alligators. Fielding triangle, alligator. Create the triangle with your glove and your two feet. Be honk us down. Kangaroo has the baby pouch right here. Pouch and alligator smack. On your marks, get set, go. My neighbors probably think I'm crazy with all the things I say. Be honk us, alligator, mongoose salute. Kitty cat salute. I know they think I'm nuts when I start acting like a kangaroo. Or when I act like an antelope who just got stung by a bee. But that's who I am. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Move those feet. Stay on your toes. Momentum to the baseball. 
What are we going to do after we field the ground ball? We're going to throw the baseball. So we want to get prepared. Footwork. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Who can get the most? And boom. Very good. Stop. Write your number down. That's right. That's right. Yesterday, Jake on Instagram saw in my pitching clinic, I threw a baseball and it went over my wall into the neighbor's yard. They were nice enough to throw it back. The first drill is called high five the sky. And what's your nickname, Amy Smith? The second drill, wall drill. The third drill, alligator. What's our fourth drill? Soccer juggling. If you have a soccer ball, use it. I'm going to use a sock. But now we can't use our hands. All right? You can use your knee. You can use your foot, your chest. You can use your behonkus, your back, your head. You just can't touch it with your hands. Soccer juggling. On your marks. Get set. That's right, Firestones. Go! Uh, and see how many in a row you can get. That's the goal. How many in a row? One, two. Ah, I got two. Two again. Three that time. You can use both feet, both knees. My record is still three today. Ooh. Oh. I was about to get four, but I didn't. Ten seconds remaining. Favorite team is the Chicago Cubs. Welcome in if you're just joining us. This is Coach Ball Games PE class. Stop. Write that number down. Graph your data if you've already been graphing. So we're four down. The fifth one is figure eight. If you got zero, that's fine too. That's all right. We're going to keep getting better every single day. That's what Tommy Lasorda told us in our book yesterday. If you were with us yesterday, we read a little, a little bit of uh, Tommy Lasorda's book. Figure eights. I'm going to use a soccer ball. You can use a basketball, a sock, whatever you want to, but get low to the ground and let's sing our dance on a toilet song. Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet. Hey, and hold pizzas in your hand. There it is. See the kangaroo pouch? Baby kangaroo not falling out. That baby Joey's not falling out, mate. No, why, mate? Go. One, two, beat me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Freeze. Let's give each other uncomfortable eye contact. 12 seconds. Thank you. You guys have been doing such a great job. I'm going to do this drill with a box on my head. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, my legs are getting tired. 15 seconds to go. And stop. Very good. Why did I just do that? Because you earned it. A lot of times at my camps, if the kids are doing awesome, if they're paying attention, uh, then I'll act more silly because kids like it when coaches act silly. Thank you. What's the sixth drill? Whoever answers it first gets a shout out. Billy Bryce likes those Cubbies too. Who's your favorite player on the Cubs, Billy Bryce? 92 for Knott's Berry Farm. He beat me. Mustache salute. What's the sixth drill? That's right. 
The behind the back is right fire stones. All right. I, I also call it the hula hoop where you wrap it around your waist on your marks. 60 seconds. Get set. Go. I'm repping the bomb bats today. Me and my buddies at bomb. Uh, I'm going to drop a video for them later today. And uh, it's going to be a little fun challenge, a little viral challenge. I'll tell you all about that in the video. It's going to be fun. It involves dancing. It involves bomb bats and dancing. Two things that never break. Chris Bryant, love his mullet. And he just had a kid. 25 seconds remaining. Hula hoop it. White Ninja, nice job. Judge Jr. just tucked in his shirt to do the hula hoops. Mustache salute, beard salute. 10 seconds. That's right. He just had a baby boy. Five seconds. Come on, water slide. And stop. Very good. Write that number down. Number seven. Our final drill. We call it the seven. As you can see, I write a little list out every day of what we're doing. And I call this the seven. This is the seven. Love it, love it, love it. Ping pong. Go. One, two, three, four. Do this drill with me. How many in a row can you? Oh, I got 17. Team. Twenty-one. Only four that time. Twenty seconds remaining. Try to get a record number. Five seconds left and stop. Write your best number down. Write your best number down. White Ninja with 50. Knott's Berry Farm, 126. Judge Jr., 119. That might have been the hula hoop numbers. Write them down. Very good job. Now it's two minutes of what a ball player does. When we come back from our two minutes of what a ball player does, we will calculate who got the most people to show up today. All right. Two minutes. Do an activity that's going to help your parents out. Make your bed. Do the laundry. Sweep the floor. Go. Two minutes. Let me know what activity you're doing. How are you making the world a better place? How are you spreading joy right now? You hugging your parents? You doing the dishes? You changing your baby brother's diaper? See you later, Dinger. What activities we got going on? One minute down, one to go. White Ninja is feeding guinea pigs. Judge Jr. is making his bed. What activity are you doing? Firestones are making their bed. Love it. 30 seconds remaining.
Puppy Pro, heading to school. Thanks for getting, you got it. We got that blood flowing to the brain. Now you're ready for school. And stop. Very good. Uh, is everybody ready? What's not working? Elijah the drummer. Is everything working? Are we ready for our contest? Okay. And here. Hmm. Let me go back live on Instagram. We had some poor connection. And then we will do our contest. If you were invited by somebody, please tell me now who invited you. If this is your first class, let's say you got an email or a text or a phone call. Somebody invited you. Please let me know who it was. I'm keeping tally. Speak now or forever hold your peace, folks. In the comments section, if you were invited, please tell me who invited you. I know Judge Jr. sent out a Facebook watch party. I know the Firestones sent out a Google. So I need it again, folks. This is the time. I can't check back. I'm sorry. Who, who, uh, who was invited? So White Ninja had seven friends join. Very good. Are they able to uh, uh, comment? Are they here? Or did they have to leave, Amy? Who was it that joined Elijah the drummer? Folks, welcome in. We're almost done with our morning PE class, but I do want to pick some winners here for uh, who did some inviting. Mm. Water slide sent a link. Very good. But I need the people who were invited to comment. Phoebes, are you with us? Are you with us, Phoebes? Anybody here? Hmm. Don't worry, we're going to do this every single morning. All right, we're going to start this as a contest, a daily contest. Invite people, get them to come. If you get the most to join, and then they can type on here and say, I'm one of those people. Boom. That's how you win. I'm not seeing anybody. Elijah the drummer says he invited Phoebes. I don't see her commenting, Elijah. Firestone said, wait a second, he might have somebody. I'll hang in here for another couple minutes. I want to get a winner today. Any of White Ninja's friends still here? Caleb invited Billy. Billy who? boy Carter King. Yeah, you can get a follow. All right, folks. I'm waiting it out. So what I need is I need... Ah, there we go. Andrea Estes. So far, I've got um, I've got half proof that Elijah the drummer and White Ninja followed some folks or got some people to come. Mm hmm. This is uh, epic TV right here. Oh, it wasn't Billy Bryce. It was a different Billy. 
I think, yeah, we, we might. <laughs> Shane White says, give it to White Ninja. He did have seven people join at one point. So going forward, every morning, we'll do this. All right. And the way it works is at this time, 940, 945, I ask the question and those people have to comment. All right. Um, so today I'm going to give it to the guy who had seven people join in its white ninja round of applause. White ninja. If you could just, uh, you can message me, you can email me on Facebook there. Uh, let me know your address and whether you want a, a swag hat or you want a baseball card pack. All right. But we'll do this every day. Invite some people. Rock and roll. White Ninja. You get an eye black salute from me. And folks, we'll see you at the virtual sandlot at three o'clock Pacific today. All right. Any questions, folks? Brooksy in the house. Barnstorm in the house. Man, if you've got a virtual wedding and you need a virtual band, call the Barnstorm. Big smile from White Ninja. Had a boy. And a thank you to Shane White. Shane White said, give it to White Ninja. Um, yes, the background sound is uh, Wednesday is mow the grass day. So around our whole community, it's lawnmowers. So you're lawnmowers on Wednesdays. All right, all right, all right. Great job, Elijah. Uh, hey, tune in tomorrow, invite people, and then at 945, they have to comment that you invited them. That's how you'll win stuff. But White Ninja gets it today with seven people joining. Sandlot today is defense. Sandlot is ground balls, fly balls, catching it like King Griffey Jr. in the outfield, fielding it like Ozzy Smith in the infield. Wednesdays will always be defense. Monday, Tuesday, throwing and pitching. Wednesdays, defense. Thursday, Friday at the Sandlot is hitting. That's how we'll work it. All right, folks. They're all over the place. Some are some vintage 1990 baseball cards, some Bo Jacksons, um, some King Griffey Juniors, some Mark McGuire's, some Barry Bonds. Jake's going to be at the Sandlot today. Water Slide's going to be there. I love it. All right, guys. Great class today. Three claps. One, two, three. Bye-bye. Send me that address, White Ninja. Mustache salute. That's right. Shout out. Get that work in. Bye-bye, YouTube.